everybody, it's Amber, and I'm finally back with my very first craft fair series video of 2019. As you can see, I'm making really cute little magnetic clothespins. There's the magnet, and I'm using these felt flowers. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. They are super simple, like they could not be easier, and I'm gonna show you how I package them up and, and how I kind of market them and everything. So um, first things first, let me just share with you the materials that I used to make these. I wanna show you all the products that I used and also let you know that you can make these with any embellishments that you have. You can use any clothespins that you have laying around. If you want this like pretty brown color, you can use um, stain or Tim Holtz like paint daubers or distress ink. You can do anything with this, just make it your own. I'm just kind of giving you the idea and some of the materials that you can use to make these presentable and really, really cute for your craft fair. So, first of all, the clothes pins that I'm using are these ones here. And they're kind of like a bigger size, a little bit of a bigger size than a normal clothes pin. And they're like that dark stain color. And this is what the packaging looked like. I got them at Tuesday morning. If I can find these online, I'm gonna link them below for you. But these are the ones that I got. And then the flowers that you see here that I'm using, um, some of them came from Michael's and they were on super clearance. And so I took the packaging off, but this is what they are. They're the Jilly Bean Soup um, felt flowers and they come in these really pretty colors. And I think I got this package for like $2. So it was on super clearance. So the smaller ones here I got at Joann's and they are the Miss Sparkle & Co brand and I really, really like working with those. So the other stuff that I'm using to make these super cute and adorable, as you can see here, let me show you. So I just simply used a Project Life card to make the little, um, just to make the backing for these and I cut a slit down here and I put it on there which I'm going to show you how to do if you don't have project life cards you can just cut scrapbook paper down to three by four and then the corners around it you don't have to do that if you don't want to but you can so I'm using that and then honestly I'm using super glue to super glue the felt onto the wood but you can use a hot glue gun I just literally cannot find mine. I think it might be packed away in my craft bag, but I can't find it. So I'm using super glue and I'm actually really impressed with how it's working. So I'll link this below as well. And then for the magnetic strips, I just have a bunch of adhesive and magnetic like sheets. And I really don't know where I got them, but there are some that you can get with the adhesive on the back and I'll link those below as well. And you just cut them into strips to fit your little clothespin here. So that's really the materials that I use. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how I package these up and what I plan to price them at. Okay, so let me quickly show you how to make one of these. They're so simple, it's not even funny. So here is your clothespin. You're just gonna take your little magnetic strip that you cut, that you cut down to size. And these, like I said, have the adhesive on the back. Most of them do. Um, that you order. So I'm just going to stick this on to the very top here because this is where it's going to hit the surface up here. Not so much down here. So just make sure it's on really well and that's seriously all that's to it to put the magnet on. Just kind of press it down so it really melds into the wood. I'm going to put this one on as well. So just stick that on there. Make sure it's really nice and stuck down. And the adhesive on these ones are really strong. So I really, I'll try to find them and I'll link them below for you guys. Okay, so once you have that done, just flip them over. And this is where the clothespin opens down here. So that's where you're going to want your embellishment, on the bottom where it opens. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm using this super glue and this is the gel one. So this is really easy and it, it, it works really well. So let me just grab one of my flowers. If you, by the way, if you don't have felt flowers, you can totally make your own. There's lots of tutorials out there on YouTube. 
So what I do is I there's this little foam piece right here. So I'm just going to peel that off. So I'm just going to take my super glue and a little goes a long way with this. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the actual surface of the clothespin. And then you just take your felt flower and I like to hold it down for a few seconds. And that's seriously all that's to it. It needs to dry for a second, but it's pretty much done at this point. So isn't that cute? And so let me put that aside and then we'll do another one. So with these little ones, they really don't have anything back here. It, stuck, it sticks to the plastic in there. It sticks to the plastic and then you just... So this is a this is a vintage Christmas tray and you totally don't have to use this but they have magnetic trays like metal trays at Dollar Tree and you can use it and put it on one of those um, plate stands and you can line these up on here like this and they stay see they're magnetic and you can put a little note that says you know clothespins two dollars or whatever you're gonna sell them for um, but I'm gonna package mine up in clear sleeves so I'm gonna show you how to do that but this is just another idea of how you can display them so as you can see here I have my extra little craft mat that I brought out I got this at Hobby Lobby it was $7.99 but I got it for 40% off so it was a great deal so that way I'm not cutting into the craft mat that I use every day. So I just got an extra little craft mat because we're gonna be doing some cutting. And as you can see here, this is how I display it. It has a little slit right here in this Project Life card and then I just clip that right to it. And that's how I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna slip this into a clear bag. So let me show you really quickly how I do that. Okay, so I've got this Project Life card and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna eyeball to right about here, it's kind of like a quarter ways up from the bottom. And you're not gonna take it to the very edge, of course. You're gonna take it in and just cut yourself a nice slit. Now this knife acts up on me, so. So just be as straight as you can. And right there. So here's the little slit that you've made. And then you're just gonna take one of your clothespins and just open it up and stick it right on that. And then there you go, you have a really cute, really nice presentation. See, I told you this was so easy. Okay, so next we have to take care of the packaging. Now let me show you how I've packaged these up. Here's two that I've packaged. Package. Now let me get you a close up on this. This right here is a little bit snug and chubby and a little bit tight, but I think I like how it looks. Um, and then I like how these are double sided, so there's decorative images on the back. And then this one has a little more room because the bag is more oversized. And then there's the back. But I think no matter what, they both look really nice in these clear bags. So this one here that's a little more snug, I used these clear bags right here, and they are three and five sixteenths by five and one eighth. And I'll have these linked below for you with a coupon code. And then these are the bigger ones. So you decide what you think looks better. Um, these are the uh, four and one quarter by six and one eighth. That's the item number. And don't worry though, because I'm going to have these linked below as well. So again, this is not sponsored by Clear Bags, but I did get these from clearbags.com and I do have a coupon code that's good to the end of the year to get 10% off your order. So these will be linked below. Okay, so let's go ahead and package one of these up and I'll try it with the smaller size first. So this is the three and five sixteenths by five and one eighth. And if you have any Clear Bags yourself, that are close to this size, you can just use those. So this is what I like to do. So this is the front of the bag. This is the back. So I like to slip this in, of course, where it's showing in the front. This one actually went in a little easier than that one. So this, 
I kind of like this size. I think I'm going to go with the smaller size. Second, then I'm just going to seal it up. And of course, because it's not flat, it's not going to be the perfect look. But there you go. So that is how it looks packaged up in that um, smaller size clear bag. And I think I'm definitely going to go with those to package mine up. Here's how it looks. I think that is so cute. So I'm going to get mine all packaged up and I'll be right back. Okay, so this pile makes me so happy. I got all of these packaged up. I do have like four more felt flowers, but I ran out of super glue. So I either have to find my hot glue gun <laughs> or get some more super glue. But I just love how these turned out. I think they're so cute and all packaged really adorably. And like I said, they're perfect to hang on your fridge with a little note clip to it. And so I really love how those turned out. Okay, so let's talk pricing. Now I've mentioned this in the past that I price my items, what I think they should go for. I know what I've spent on my products. I've got some things on clearance. I've had you know some of these things in my stash forever. So what I price my items doesn't mean that you have to, you know, price yours, of course, at that price. But so for these, I think I'm going to do $2 each or two for three. And I was thinking about doing $1, but the felt flowers are really, really nice. And um, they look very handmade. And I took the time to package them and make them really cute. So... I think I'm going to do the $2 a piece or two for $3. So that's my project. So I'm going to get these all packed away in my little bin for my craft fair to get my stash started. And I'll see you very soon for my next craft fair project. All the items that I mentioned will be linked below. And I hope that you all have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.